I'm gonna model a pool table just for fun and it's uh, it's not gonna follow any real specifications and it's more of a cartoony type thing but uh, someone asked me if I would do this and so I just want to do it for them all right so here I am in blender and switch to cycles screencast keys on and we're gonna take the camera and the lamp and let's move them over there and let's get rid of that I'm gonna go into top view and uh, we can either do this from a reference image or we can just do our own thing and I think maybe we'll do our own thing okay putting down a plane and let's uh, scale this in the X and hold down control and we'll go there scale it in the Y all right so that's our pool table there all right I'm gonna put an edge loop in the middle here and an edge loop in the middle here and I'm going to delete these three faces and I'm going to put on a mirror add mirror in the X and in the Y all right so it'll mirror whatever we do there all right now I'm going to come in I'm going to put an edge loop here and I'm going to bring it down to somewhere like that and then one here and just try to get it kind of even okay I'm gonna put in three edge loops here and three edge loops here and now I have a region right here these four where I can make a hole all right so I'm gonna hit I to inset bring it in a little bit W choose loop tools circle and we'll scale it in just a little bit I'm going to go ahead and delete those faces. Okay, now, 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 actually, I think I'm going to get rid of the X. Yeah, let's get rid of the X. And let's choose these faces, all of these right there. And we're going to Shift D and copy them over here. And I'll turn on Snap to Edge. And I'll snap them there. I'm going to select everything. W and remove doubles. I got rid of a bit. Okay, cool. I'm going to take this and I'm going to pull it down a little bit here. And I am going to turn on the X and clipping. We'll bring it in. And we'll let it go. And hopefully we've got an okay circle there. Cool. All right. So now. Uh, in face selection, I'm going to select what? Definitely those. I think all of these. Yeah, we'll do those. And I'm going to turn it. Uh, and we can do it this way. Hit E to extrude. Turn off snapping. And bring it up a little bit. see what that's starting to do there and um, maybe I'll take all of these uh, on top and just maybe I'll bring them up just a little bit more not much for now did I miss one Just that much. Let's get rid of the grid floor. And let's turn on ambient occlusion to help us see our lines. Ah, oh, geez. What did I do here? Nah, let's go back. Jesus. Uh, select this piece all right well that's okay 
we'll take this and we'll turn snapping back on to edge. Hit E to extrude, I'll bring it up. I'll try to snap it to there. Let's remove doubles. Let's see if I got what I wanted there. All right, that's better. Let's go ahead and apply the beer. Subdivision surface. Yeah, we got some issues in here, eh? Okay. and apply the mirror yet again. And um, I think I'm gonna take all of this and I'm gonna scale it out, scale this in the Y. Let's turn off snapping. Scale it in the Y a little bit and scale it in the X a little bit. Not worried about polys looking like they're bending or anything. Not really. Just an edge loop down there. tight and up here again not too tight that's looking good and we'll just put an edge loop going down I'm gonna take this edge all the way around I have to select it a few times but we'll do that because that's all right and you'll pull it down like that Take this bottom edge and pull it down a bit further. Okay, that's actually going to pull it down quite a bit. And bring another edge loop up here. And shift alt and click uh, those edges. I guess those. E and alt S, pull it out. Bring another edge loop underneath it. I'll bring one down here for now. Let's see how she's starting to turn out. Let's turn on smoothing. Yeah. Okay, let's uh, shift alt and click that edge for the circle, not that one, and that one, ah, lost it, you could do this with the mirror on still, but I just want to have it on, that one, extrude and we'll come down a bit and then E to extrude and we'll come down a bunch more. Let's see. That's fine. Okay. Let's close off the bottom of this. Shift Alt to click the edge there. Actually let's disconnect this. Control 7. Look at the bottom. E and S. 
Let's uh, scale in the Y a bit, make it a bit more even. E and S, E and Alt M. Uh, the more I think about it, let's see if I can go back to, to uh, there. Actually, we'll go back one more. And I'm just going to scale the whole thing. Oh, I can't do it yet. Let's uh, let's jump up, and we'll scale the whole thing in like that. Well, maybe I don't want that bottom edge now. There we go. E and S, E and S, E and Alt M. And we'll sharpen that up. Not too sharp. Do well on the bottom here too. I guess it's reasonably sharp and reasonably shallow. Mm. Maybe that needs a bit more then. All right, so we'll just look at it from some orthographic view in wireframe and edit mode. We'll just box select the whole thing and pull it down just like that. That's fine. desk nope not that although that would be helpful sometimes let's make some quick uh, legs a lot of cubes Nothing fancy at all. We could do more for sure, but we're just uh, we're just having fun. Uh, maybe that's too thick, though. Scale shift Z. I'll scale that in. Might be too tall too. Scale in the Z. All right. Let's put a bevel on that. Of two. Scale it back. We'll put on smoothing and we'll throw in a couple of edge loops there and there. I mean, just geez, there's so many things we could do, you know, but uh, time is a bit limited tonight for me. Could be having a baby tonight, could be tomorrow night. It's coming. Uh, so uh, just with that like that, let's apply a mirror there. And where's my mirror? It's wide enough. I don't know how well I can. Uh... Let's go with that. Let's see if we like it. It's a bit better. Go into the legs. Just move it out. That's fine. Okay. Really simple. Let's start putting some materials on this. Uh, X 
except the main one to go. One more. There we go. For now, we'll just do this. Call it green. everything right can I just go control I get everything else and do another one make this like a dark red brownish red I'll call it red it might not stay red but we'll see okay I'll make them the same Um, this is not necessary to scale as we had said it's just what it is let's um, merge these at center take all of these and go uh, uh, shift control B and bevel like this select it all give it some thickness let's make a new material for this it's going to be black, and then we'll fix these up. Let's take the top face and the bottom face if I can get into it. Yeah. There we go. I'd inset, give it a little bit of thickness. Control E, bridge edge loops. Let's bring an edge loop down here, about there. And select these faces, and E, Alt S, and hold Shift, pull it out. I'm gonna need an edge loop down there and here, not too close. Here and down here, just about that much. Subdivision surface. Now you can't see that, so let's work on the uh, let's work on the colors a bit. All right, uh, I don't really even need to go into the node editor. I can do it right here, principled. This is going to be black, and I'm going to have it. Um, let's go 0.3 and roughness 0.3 as well. Now, are you able to see that any better? A little bit of a shine to it. Do I have smoothing on there? Or maybe too small. Or maybe too big for all I know. Okay. Let's do the same with this one. Just simple stuff. And we'll do metal at 0 0.5 maybe. Roughness 0 0.5. Four. Let's see how that works. And this one, green, we'll switch that to principal as well. Um, I'm actually going to give it a little bit. 0 0.5, that's not much, but Let's start seeing how that's looking. Let's select it all and bring it up to about there. Shift C to bring my 3D cursor back. Shift A, mesh plane, scale 20. Uh, let's give this a simple material, just, just like that for now. And I got a light and camera, don't I? There's my light. Let's switch that to a sun. 0 0.3. Use nodes. Make it cream. 
at four, let's say, and I'll do another, I'll do another sun. Just arbitrarily do that. Bluish, I'm gonna get three. Let's also add an environment. Environment texture, open an HDR image, something from the, from the internet. Sorry, I haven't looked at you at all, hey? Uh, and let's try Lobby Center. This is one that I happen to, to have. Um, where am I now? So I got to shift alt, shift and click that. And I got my camera there. Can I just look through my camera? Um, no, I need uh, lock camera to view. Home button. That's what I'm doing. Let's just get a sense of what it's starting to look like. Very bright. I was just thinking if I got rid of that, you can see it's like it's in the lobby there. It's kind of a cool view right there. I might leave it like that. We could try uh, messing around with with this. Maybe want a brown. Although I like the red, to tell you the truth. Even though it's very red in there. <laughs> and if I bring back the floor, maybe I'll uh, make it darker like that. and do a test render and we'll come back. All right, this is what it looks like so far. Um, I don't know what happened here. It doesn't look like it's really even on the, on the table yet. Oh, maybe it wasn't on the table yet. All right, we'll go with that. Okay, what else? What else we gotta do? I'm gonna do a pull cue. We can do that, I guess. So let's just uh, select that. And let's bring in a cylinder. 32 is fine. Rotate Y90. Oops. I probably wanted to get rid of the ends, didn't I? Let's do that. Let's get rid of these ends. Scale shift X, maybe scale shift X. Maybe a little narrower. Okay. I grab uh, this edge here. And uh, we'll just scale it in like that. E, and bring this out. Okay. Um, let's. E and I'll test it a little bit. Nah, that's not what I want to do. Oh, select it all. Ooh, doubles. Um, now I want to close this off. E and S. E and S. I'll do one more. Now let's just do this. Let's select that. Control B. Pull back. E and I'll test it. Indentation. Bring some edge loops close to it. I'm not really gonna see this very close. This one's gonna take a while to get to. Zoom, 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 zoom. Come on. Where are you? There you are. Um, maybe I'll take this and bevel it. take that color right now. So let's do a new one. Um, I have no idea. I don't know if 
from the uh, subdivision surface. Maybe not. Uh, what color is this part? Is this part white? I guess it would. I guess it depends, eh? Well, that's a shame. I, sh I should just use an end gun. Be done with it. But I won't. I'll do that much. I'll make a new material. Well, that's Q, I guess. And this one, I do want it white. I'm going to leave it like that. Q end. Maybe it's going to be black. Black at the very end. Not sure. Uh, we can make it any way we want. Let's grab the end of this, though. We'll do the same thing. Close it up. I'm just going to do it like this, though. See if that's good enough. Can bevel that in, too. I might still put a subdivision on it. Okay, let's make the handle, but... Let's do this. I might just make this whole area black. Oops. And then control plus all the way up to there. There's one way of doing it anyhow. Uh, yeah, let's uh, grab that black. It's not too shiny. But let's, let's grab this and control B. And I'll test like I did before in Oh here we go, another long one. That oh, wasn't too bad. You know. That could be good enough for what we're doing. Actually, I think what I'm going to do is extrude it out a little bit, just a bit, and control plus, and I'll make a new material there. I just wanted to do that. And I'm thinking that this is supposed to be black at the end. I could be wrong. I should be looking at some pictures, shouldn't I? Well, you know, you know how it goes. Is that the right amount? I don't even know if that's right. Okay. Now, this guy won't sit really properly on the table, but I mean, we probably will move some stuff around. What about that for now? I kind of want to hide this and have another look with that environment there. Oh, I need my light, so on the next layer. So red. It's fancy, though. It is fancy. Let's see if we can just do something different here. Does that look like it's on the floor? I <laughs> know. Someone else's HDR. How about that? And just try it. Okay, we're gonna render that and uh, we'll be back.